Well, the uh, really the final polls of this uh, election cycle uh, show maybe a tad of momentum there for Kamala Harris. It showed her up in Nevada, North Carolina, Wisconsin, uh, and Georgia, and by a hair in Pennsylvania. Now, it's all within uh, the margin of error, uh, but it does show her uh, with a lead in five of the, of the key seven battleground states. Uh, she's essentially tied with Donald Trump in Michigan, and Donald Trump has about a four-point lead in Arizona. Uh, again, almost all of this is within the margin of error, so it could easily go the other way. Uh, but the but those those margins, those gaps uh, were a little bit bigger for Harris than say about ten days ago. Uh, to be fair, it was a very difficult week for Donald Trump last week. Uh, he got hit on a number of fronts, including uh, for that rally at Madison Square Garden uh, and for a lot of the commentary that was there. Uh, and so it's uh, heading into the final stretch, though. It's, it's still all uh, razor thin. And what are the final messages to voters from both of the camps, Bill? Well, they're both hitting hard on uh, economic issues, and their economic visions are very different, of course. Kamala Harris uh, campaigning across Michigan uh, yesterday and talking a lot about her plans to uh, give tax breaks to uh, small businesses, to uh, help uh, first-time home homeowners be able uh, to be able to buy that first house. Donald Trump still focusing very much on uh, tariffs and uh, the power he says that will have to protect American jobs. Uh, he's also talked a lot about immigration and uh, and continues to say that uh, the the Biden Harris uh, setbacks on immigration he sees have allowed uh, immigrants to take jobs from Black Americans and Hispanic Americans. So trying to win over uh, some minority voters who uh, are are uh, he, who he's getting a bigger slice of than previous Republican candidates have gotten in the past. Bill, this has already been a, a, a hugely dramatic election campaign in the U.S. Assassination attempt, a change in name at the top of the ticket mid campaign. How? I suppose, how dramatic should we expect the next couple of days to be when we're thinking about when we might know the results? Well, yeah, it could uh, it, it could very easily take several days in, uh, if the races are as close as these polls show. We've already seen the courts pulled in, including the Supreme Court, pulled into trying to make quick decisions about uh, legal cases brought before them in terms of, uh, for instance, clearing of uh, getting some voter names off the rolls in states like Virginia. I would expect uh, a lot of business for the campaign lawyers on both sides, uh, but, but particularly if, uh, if it comes down to you know, one percentage point or less, which in many states requires a recount, sometimes a recount by hand in those situations.